MPLS TE Explicit Tunnel with OSPF. In this video, I'm going to talk about again MPLS TE Tunnel, but in this video, we will learn about the configuration of the explicit tunnels. What is the explicit tunnel? We will talk about that. And here we have a scenario. In this scenario, we have uh, five rotors, R1, R2, R3, and R4, and R5. And here is the instruction of this scenario for configuration of this scenario. In every and each scenario, we will learn one or, for example, two new topic. And after that, uh, after configuring, for example, f uh, 10 or 15 scenarios, we will learn many things, many options about the MPLS T. Okay, let me to start the configuration of this scenario according to the instruction that here we have. And in this scenario, I am going to configure the scenario from the scratch because of that we need to configure everything. But maybe in some scenarios, we are using the configuration of the previous scenario and only uh, doing some change in that configuration. The, here we have one notepad file. This is our notepad file and I'm going to configure the scenario with this notepad file. Here we have R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. The first thing that we need to configure in this scenario is the IP addressing. Let me to start the configuration of the R1 to R5 EN conf T and then the first command in R1 is hostname hostname R1 okay after that in R1 we have two interfaces the first interface is interface ETH00 with the IP address of the 10121255255550 and after that no shutdown and uh, let me to configure the next Ethernet interface, interface ETH01, with the IP address of 10131255255250 and no shutdown. Also, we need one loopback interface. Let me to configure the interface loopback 0 with the IP address of the 192.168.254.1. Quad two five five. Okay, this is the configuration of the uh, interfaces and also IP addressing in the R one. Let me to configure the rotor two. This is the rotor two's configuration. Okay, the host name is R two. Here we have again two Ethernet interface. The IP address of the first Ethernet interface is. 10122 ETH00 zero zero, and the IP address of the ETH01 this interface is 10252 okay 255255550 we don't need interface loopback 0 in rotor 2 if you want you can configure it but it's not necessary let me to remove the interface loopback 0 and the rotor 2 here we don't need it we, we need only interface loopback in the or for example tunnel or end or tunnel head end okay after that we can uh, copy the configuration of r2 and paste it for the uh, for example rotor 3 here we have hostname r3 interface eth00 the ip address of the eth00 is the uh, 10133 okay 101332552552550 and also the ip address of the eth01 is 10343 let me to talk about the interface loopback when you have interface loop loopback you can use this interface loopback uh, for the for example mpls ldp rotor id or uh, ospf rotor id maybe you uh, want to uh, for example use the interface loopbacks for easier troubleshooting easier maintenance if you want you can configure interface loopback zero let me to configure the loopback zero in rotor two and also rotor three okay but this is optional and then in the rotor three this is the loopback zero on the rotor three and now we can copy the configuration of the r3 and pasting on the r3 r4 cli okay this is r4 cli in r4 we need to configure first host name to r4 and then we have to eth to eth uh, 0 and eth 01 eth 00's ip address is 10454 255 no shutdown and interface eth 01's ip address is 10344 255 and interface loopback 0's ip address is 192.168.254.4 quad 255 
and the last router is router 5 in router 5 I am going to configure two loopback interface the first is loopback 0 and we are using the loopback 0 uh, in the uh, tunnel destination command and here also we have another loopback for example quad 5 to loopback 1 quad 5 and this is the network that we need to configure uh, to we need to use the tunnel interface for forwarding traffic to this network okay this is my scenario and we can configure this scenario with two loopback if you want you can configure with one LAN interface okay interface eth 00s IP address this interface is 10255 and eth 01's IP address is uh, for example 10455255255550 we have interface loopback 0 with the IP address of 192.168.2545 uh, slash 32 or quad 255 also let me to configure another loopback interface loopback 1 with the IP address of the quad 4, quad 5, quad 2, 5, 5. This is the initial configuration in the rotor 1, rotor 2, rotor 3, rotor 4, and rotor 5. Now we can start the configuration according to the instruction. As I mentioned before, we need to configure this scenario with the, uh, for example, OSPF as the IGP, but in some scenarios we will configure the MPLST tunnel scenarios with the, uh, for example, ISIS IGP. Okay, here we are using the OSPF version 2. Let me to start the configuration of the OSPF. Look at here. The, in the first instruction, we can see that we need to configure OSPF version 2 in all rotors and in all rotors and, and in all interfaces for area 0. Let me first to talk about this look at here in the MPLS traffic engineering okay you know that we are using IGP for uh, using the uh, for finding the uh, pass to reach to destination or verifying the uh, requirement of the tunnel interface and you know that uh, about the IGP we have two options OSPF and ISIS as I mentioned before okay in OSPF let me talk about the OSPF in OSPF we are using LSA type 10 for, uh, for example, advertising the constraint or the uh, features a specification of a link. Okay, and LSA type 10 can only advertise inside of the area. The S scope of the LSA type 10 is a, is a, a one area. This means that if you configure the R1 interfaces, two interfaces in the area 0 and also R2 ETH00 and then R3 ETH00 in area 0, but ETH01 of R2 in area 1, the LSA type 10 of the R1 cannot pass to the area 1. Because of that, you can't configure the TE tunnel between two area without uh, any uh, special uh, commands. Okay, because of that, uh, for now, it's better to configuring the all of the rotors in one area for example area zero okay but we have some solutions for this problem uh, and also you will learn about them in this course but for now in all of our scenarios we are using uh, the when you are using ospf we need to configure the uh, uh, rotors in one area for example area zero and also in most in most uh, cases in the service providers also you will encounter with the one area but maybe in some service providers you need to con con configuring ospf with multiple area we have solution for mo multiple area about the mpls traffic engineering but for now let me to configure all of the rotors in the area zero as you can see here OSPF area zero because the LSA type 10 has a scope of the one area okay let me to continue the configuration look at here we need to configure OSPF this is the configuration of OSPF rotor OSPF then process ID we need to configure rotor ID it's okay after that interface interface name IP OSPF process ID area area ID and also as you can see here we have a common IP OSPF network point point you know that in OSPF we have network types and because uh, for example the links between the rotors in this scenario are broadcast link a broadcast network has broadcast network type we need to change them to the point-to-point uh, -point network type to faster convergence and also to faster establishing neighborship okay it's optional but let me to configure it starting the configuration of the OSPF in the rotor one the first command is rotor OSPF one and then rotor ID is 192.168.254 okay 2541 
and then as you can see here we need to configure the commands on the interfaces ospf command ip ospf1 area 0 then ip ospf network for example, point to point. That's it. Let me to copy this configuration.